These typodonts are purpose-made for the REB licensing exam. They can also be used for simulation exercises. Although they look quite different, they function in very much the same manner and are largely uh, equivalent. Both of them have six segments uh, that are held in uh, by magnets. Today we're going to focus on the academical model and the posterior segment here is held in uh, by a magnet and is quick to remove and to replace. These are the supplies that we need uh, to mount a tooth in one of the removable segments. A sharp disposable scalpel, a dental mirror, a wax spatula, number seven wax spatula, fixing gel, uh, the tip for it, apex putty, and the segment itself. Here we have two lower canines, neither of them are appropriate for uh, learning purposes. Uh, one is so tiny, the other one is so huge. Um, the huge one won't fit in our um, segment at all, uh, and the small one will fit in the segment, but there's barely any route to anchor it within the fixing gel, so neither of these are appropriate for learning purposes. We've chosen a central incisor appropriate for our learning exercise. Now we've got to understand how best to orientate it within the mounting slot. Uh, we've got to try and ensure that it's at the appropriate uh, occlusal plane to match the adjacent teeth. We've also got to ensure that it's at the appropriate buccopalatal inclination to match the adjacent teeth. And now we can see that we've actually got to tilt it quite far forwards in order to get a same kind of axial inclination as its adjacent central incisor. We've also got to ensure that CJ will be accessible uh, and that'll make it much easier to isolate. Next, we use the apex putty to simulate periapical radiolucency. It's also used for another reason. It's very soft, so its placement around the apex demands that we demonstrate appropriate length control during instrumentation and obturation. Now we're going to make a ball of apex putty. Now I'm going to tap it in place to the bottom of the slot with the end of the mirror handle. My aim is to have the bottom three millimeters of the root embedded in the apex putty. Now we're going to use fixing gel to secure the tooth within the segment. The fixing gel is like, very like a flowable composite. Its handling properties are a bit like that of light body impression material. We're going to try and keep the tip uh, within the body of the material, and we're going to try and keep the tip moving uh, as we apply the gel inside the segment. So starting from the bottom of the segment and kind of back filling. Push the tooth forward for a second while I fill in the narrower buckle space. Keeping the tip within the body of the material. Pushing the material ahead of the tip. As we move all the way around. Material is easy to manipulate while it's flowable and easy to trim when it's rock hard, but very difficult to manipulate in between. So now we're going to let the material set and then trim a little bit of flash around the CEJ the scalpel after it's set. Now we're cleaning up the excess flash with a sharp disposable scalpel. to ensure that the CEJ is fully exposed so that we can see the outline of the crown and of the long axis of the tooth, both on the buckle and on the palatal.